do the Macarena. Ow! I don't know why, but this shirt is giving me all of the Macarena. Okay, so listen. <laughs> if you are new, welcome. If you are not new, girl, welcome back. This is the one and only, your girl, hello. Hello. This is your girl, <laughs> the Joy Amor, and welcome. Hold on, girl, wait. Okay. Welcome <laughs> to another video, okay? And we are here to do a dossier, dossier, dossier review really really quick okay so this is gonna be a two it's gonna have two things going on really three um i want to tell you a little bit about dossier this video is in collaboration with dossier dossier gives us luxury inspired fragrances for a fraction of the cost they are, have creatively allowed me to do what i would like to do with this video it is going to be a good ready get ready with me so i am going to do my makeup but as i do my makeup we're going to do something completely different and new we're going to do love letters with joy or more okay so this is going to be a get ready with me a little bit about the dossier fragrances and love letters with joy or more love letters with joy or more is going to be where you that's right you girl you send me an email and we're going to talk a little bit about your issue i'm going to read your email and then we're going to answer it girl while i do my makeup Everybody is going to get down in the comments and weigh in on their opinions of what you should do with your situation. I do have an email that was recently sent to me, so y'all get ready for the juicy details. I know y'all are just as nosy as I am, so we are all ready to read this email together. I probably should have read the email before I did this, but I didn't. So we're going to be reading this email together, girl. Okay, with that being said... Let's get right into it. Okay, Dossier, like I said, offers us luxury fragrances at a fraction of the cost. Um, I picked two fragrances. This one is called is Floriental Vanilla, okay? And the good thing about Dossier that I like, other than the fact that they are giving you uh, luxury fragrances at the fraction of the cost, is that it's a risk-free situation, girl. When you get your order, okay, you're going to order your perfume, right? It's literally less than $30. I mean, you cannot beat it, girl. Less than $30. You're going to be getting your big bottle of fragrance, but you also get a mini. With the mini, this is the mini that you can spray at your leisure. This is what I like to do. Spray it on the top. Mmm. Mm, that smells really good that is strong it is floral it smells like a hint of vanilla but it is a very flagrant floral scent but it is not a fruity scent to the fact of where it tastes like tastes like smells like cotton candy or something cheap or juvenile this is very much so grown woman and it smells delectable. So the reason why they give you that one is so that way if you don't like it, you don't even have to touch the big one. You can go ahead and spray that one, see that you don't like it, and send it back. Okay? So this is in, in Floriental Vanilla. It is top notes are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, Licorice. The middle notes are Jasmine and Orange Blossom. The base notes are Cedarwood, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Coffee. Come on now, come through, Coffee. It has a 15% concentration, um, and they say that we have made it our mission to deliver only the best quality luxury-inspired fragrances at a fair and transparent price and allow you to experience new scents. Okay, this one is an in inspiration of YSL, that's Yves Saint Laurent, Black Opium, okay, and it's an Ade perfume, and all you have to do is order whatever it is that you want. Because let's be honest, you're not going to know, just in case you have not smelled the, the original, how would you know, girl? You don't. And they don't expect you to. So all you have to do is order it risk-free. And then if you don't like it, girl, send it back, right? 
Okay, that's it, period. And then you get your refund with no problems. Now for me, let me take this out. Y'all know I got these nails, girl. So it's a little bit difficult. But you know, I tell you guys about this each time. I love the bottle. It's very simple. You know what I'm saying? Classic dossier. It tells you about the notes. The top is, like everyone has showed you, magnetic. So if you're like me, I lose the top to everything. Ooh, it smells very good, very strong, but not so strong that it's gonna give you a headache. I absolutely love this one. I think so far, as far as the feminine fragrances, it might be one of my favorite. The other one that I wanna show you is a Fruity Magnolia. It's inspired by Versace Bright Crystal. Now, I actually have smelled Versace Bright Crystal. I went into Ulta the other day, and they had it, and I smelled it, and I did not like it. But this, I absolutely love. Again, you get your mini. Smell your mini. This is Fruity Magnolia. Again, very grown woman. It smells very good. It smells to me much better than Versace Bright Crystal and a fraction, literally, of the price. Because, listen, ain't nobody got time to pay no $200 for no perfume that they're not quite sure they're going to like yet. I'm just saying. You guys, head on over there to Dossier. Get your fragrances. Let them know that Joya Moore sent you. I will put all the information in the description of the video so that way you guys can get you some Dossier, okay? I really appreciate you guys bearing with me for that portion because you know dossier pays the coins girl and we need that okay so let's go ahead and get right into this get ready with me so you guys can go ahead and help me paint this mug as well as i'm gonna go ahead and read this letter to you guys and that way you can get in the comments and not only comment on your own, not only make a comment for you, but go back and read the other comments and comment to some of the other girls. Listen, veterans, teach the new girls what to do, if you know what I'm saying, so that way they know exactly what to do. I will be right back and we will get right into this Get Ready With Me. Okay, my loves, let me go ahead and read you guys the email and then we'll get right into completing this beat. Okay, hello and happy new year. As you stated in your last get ready with me, you would like to start email advice. Love letters is a good name, by the way. So, love letters with Joy Amore. Okay. Anyway, thank you for opening up your life to us. Hopefully this community will continue to grow and flourish and you see the fruits of your labor. But let's get into my question. What advice would you give what advice would you have to give for someone like me? I suffer from major depression dis and disorder and recurrent anxi anxiety and anxious distress. I have had a few issues in my life, but the ones that still bother me today are my inability to conceive due to PCOS and my issues with self-confidence. My grandmother was my first bully. She would constantly tell me how fat and stupid I was so that wait she would constantly tell me how fat and stupid i was so that became how i identified i still struggle with that what advice do you have for someone just wanting to find something about themselves to love you can use my name i don't mind thank you in advance for even reading this and this goes to karina Karina, first and foremost, thank you so much for trusting me with your feelings. I really, really appreciate you. And all of my ladies that are watching this, can you please get in the comments and please show Karina how we love each other. Give Karina some love and support. Thank you so much for your courage. Now listen, really quick, um, if you want to send me a love letter okay because your lo your letter will receive be received with love please put in the description of the email the subject line put love letter and also let me know if you want to rena remain anonymous or not if you are watching this on premiere because i am going to premiere this can you please make sure um hopefully me or more will be there to give you my email address otherwise it will be in the description box if you are watching it on playback 
um shout out to karina karina we love you we appreciate you and we support you so i'm just going to be giving you my thoughts and ideas from my perspective and hopefully this will be something that helps you i am going to be looking down because i have my mirror here um and i'm going to be getting ready with you guys but i want to talk to you guys while i get ready typically i would be um listening to music while i get ready but i'm here for you girl so first and foremost one of the things that karina said is that she has pcos those of us who have struggled with issues with our bodies we know and we can definitely relate to what it feels like to feel empty to feel incomplete and to feel lost due to something that you're going through with your body um sometimes we almost can feel trapped or like prisoners in our body people think that when you're morbidly obese you feel trapped or you feel like a prisoner in your body due to the fact that you are morbidly obese but sometimes more often than none people will feel like they're trapped when their bodies don't line up with how they feel their body should be meaning if you have an illness that you know what i'm saying these illnesses they're not our fault you know they happen to us and we have to learn to cope with them and how to deal with them you know what i mean so first of all you're not any less of a woman and it's not your fault that you have pcos you have pcos and that is something that actually plagues a lot of us women and a lot of us women have pcos and don't even know that they have it because they haven't been able to afford medical care and they're struggling so i just commend you for getting a diagnosis and knowing what's going on with your body um i know someone personally who has two children who did go through a difficult time with be conceiving but they are plus size and they also have pcos and they were able to conceive so even if it has been difficult, I just would have you not to give up hope. Um, please don't give up hope. That's what I ask. Don't give up hope. Just because you have not yet been able to conceive, I believe that, you know, there still may be hope. I mean, my mother had me at 40. She was told she would never be able to have children. She had my brother and I. So please don't give up. If you are not able to have children, that does not mean that you are any less of a woman. And just because you have something going on with your body, that doesn't make you any less of a person or any less of a woman. So if you have PCOS, please know that there's hope for you. There's studies, you know, they're, they're advancing in medicines. So please don't give up. And if you have PCOS, please speak to Karina on your situation with your PCOS. We're going to be make sure that this is a safe space and that we are being very positive. Okay. With that being said, sometimes our bully doesn't look anything like us. Sometimes our bully is to be expected meaning that we expect our bully right we expect them to be our opposite and sometimes our bully and i can attest to this girl sometimes our bully girl looks just like us sometimes our bully are those that are supposed to be speaking life into us and instead, they try to kill our spirits. <clears throat> I'm sorry that someone who was meant to speak life into you did not speak life into you, Karina. But that's okay. Trust me. I have had family members who were supposed to be speaking life into me, and they did not. They supported in my downfall. They actually plotted against me for my downfall. And they actually lied about me i've had people who look like me okay who i thought were going to support me and girl they didn't they were the ones with the hammer trying to hammer the nail 
and what they thought would be dig a hole in a ditch for me. But listen, you can come and rise above that, Karina girl. Do not be dismayed by those that come. Yes, dismayed, girl. Do not be dismayed by those that come and that seek your downfall. Because while they're seeking your downfall, they can seek a downfall for themselves. The advice that I would give you is to do whatever you can to build your self-esteem and to build your courage. Self-esteem is splitting. It's not always going to be the same, okay? I need you guys to understand that. As a woman, no matter whether you're plus size, no matter whether you're thin, black, white, purple, green, blue, yellow, whatever you are, there will be times where you will not feel 100% about yourself. And that does not mean that your character, your continence, who you are, is low self-esteem. That means you're human, okay? And that also means that you don't have a narcissistic borderline personality disorder. Because anyone who thinks of themselves 100% of the time, something's wrong with that person. Because everybody knows that we all, all of us, go up and down with how we feel about ourselves. That's why it's feelings are fleeting, okay? The most important thing is having courage. Courage is something that you can foster. Courage is something that you can feed within yourself that will come up when you least expect it, girl. Have the courage to take care of yourself. Seek a second opinion, seek medical advice. Look at your diet, get your nutrition together, build momentum, use, you know, you guys wonder why I'm always talking about self-care, 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 or why I'm always showing you, you know, doing your own nails, doing something with your hair, wearing makeup, wearing lashes, going and getting clothes, because sometimes we have to see ourselves where we want to be before we feel ourselves where we want to be. So do what you can for yourself. If you like to read books, go get you a book, girl. If you like to have expensive coffee, go buy you a bag of that premium French roast that you love. And girl, spend 30 minutes making you a cup of coffee, the cup of coffee of your life. And sit by a window and write in a journal and drink the cup of coffee. Do you see what I'm saying? It's courage is a muscle. Okay, it's not something that's just going to happen overnight where you're going to always feel that way. It's just not. It's fleeting when you have feelings, okay? Feelings are fleeting, but courage can be a muscle that you build. And when anyone who knows with a muscle, even if you don't see the muscle, when you go to rely on that muscle, it's there. Feelings come and go. A muscle is going to be permanent. Build your confidence muscle, girl. Do whatever you can. Feed your mind. Feed your spirit with positive reinforcement. Don't allow people to get stuck and build places in your head and in your spirit. Let it go in one ear and come out the other. It's going to take some time. It's not going to be something that's done overnight. Trust me, girl, I'm still dealing with something somebody said and did to me from 15 years ago. But it's getting a little bit easier every day. Every day it's a little easier. Every day it's a little better. And if I can do it, I am no better than you. You can do it. I believe in you. And what I want is all of the ladies to get down in the comments. Please talk to Karina. Give her some support. Karina, we cheering for you, girl. We know that you can do it. It's not about having the perfect self-esteem. Build yourself up, girl. Hello. Build yourself up and come through this. Because we know that you can, okay? You guys get down in the comments. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a little bit of foundation, a little bit of powder. And then we'll come back to wrap it up. And I want to talk about a little bit about courage and self-esteem, okay? So I'll be right back. Welcome back, girl. Thank you so much for coming back with me. Really quick, listen, have you already subscribed? If you have not subscribed to my channel, listen, we do something, some of 
everything over here, okay? We do cooking shows, we do lives, we have heart to hearts. We now have love letters from your girl, Joy Moore. Listen, I'm doing everything that I can to build you up and support you. My thing is to empower you, uplift you, and celebrate you, not just for who you are, but for who you're gonna be. So if you have not already, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Ladies, please get down in the comments, just in case somebody that hasn't subscribed yet and they wanna know exactly what it is that they got going, we got going on over here, get down in the comments and let them know so welcome back as you can see we have applied our face for those of you who don't know i do not desire to be any lighter i don't desire to be any other color than the color that i am i love my color i love my skin complexion i think that is one of my greatest attributes i really love it in addition to that i do have a darker neck okay that i'm working on I have hyperpigmentation. Please don't diagnose me with any health issues. I don't have any health issues that you can diagnose me with just by looking at me. I just have a darker neck than the rest of my body, which is very common for those of us who are morbidly obese. That's just something that you deal with. So, so is having issues with, you know, shoulder straps and um, bra straps. But I actually have, if you can see, I've gotten rid of all of the darkness from my bra straps, okay? I don't even have that. So I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Anyway, I picked this letter and I have another letter I'm actually waiting on. I haven't taken the chance or taken the time um, to email that person back yet because they did not tell me if they would like to remain anonymous or if the, I can use their name. So if you have sent me an email already, please send me another one and let me know if it's okay for me to read your letter with our love letters, okay? So anyway, Girl, I think there has been a time in all of our lives where we have struggled with other people and their opinions of us. For me, <clears throat> I definitely have struggled. Um, for me, I don't think it's just about self-esteem. And, and I know that you guys, I, I'm hoping that by now, if you guys are used to me, you understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this self-esteem thing. Um, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, Low self-esteem is just really associated with people who are morbidly obese or who are overweight. Um, people tend to think that it's almost like a catch-22. It's like we're not allowed to have self-esteem or high self-esteem. But then again, it's like people make you have, you know, they attempt to try to tear down your self-esteem when you do have high self-esteem i mean it's just it's really crazy you guys and i've seen it a lot more since i've been out here in these youtube streets and it's very frustrating to me but at the same time i'm glad that it happens because now i understand you know now i can really relate and i can understand because i just i guess i was living in a bubble y'all but it just was not something that I dealt with, you know, people in my real life, people see me and they're so nice to me. Like for the most part, I have assholes, but everybody has those people. But for the most part, people see me and they're kind to me and they're complimentary. And, you know, I don't have all these crazy, let me tear you down every day of your life type situations. I just, I just don't have it. I don't. So now that I'm out here, you know, not really even trying to make a name, but just trying to show other women who want to do something with their lives that even though, even though there's a lot of BS, you can push past it. You can do it. Like, I know it's difficult. And I know you may say, Joy, I'm not cut out for it. Girl, I'm not cut out for this shit either. Excuse my language, but let's just be real. I'm not cut out for it. I'm not cut out for the shenanigans and the stuff that people say. And I'm not cut out for it either. I don't want to deal with that. But it's life. If we're going to get anywhere, if we're going to do anything, if we're going anywhere, it's just one of those things that we have to deal with. We can't move past, 
you know, we can't go through it. We have to go, oh, we can't go around it. We can't go past it. We kind of just have to, we have to go through it. It's just one of those things, girl. We have to go through it. So listen, if, what are some of the challenges? You know, tell me a little bit about the challenges that, that you face. Do you deal with self-esteem issues? Do you feel like because you are plus size, that that's the reason that you deal with the type of issues that you deal with? And what do you feel about my philosophy? I know I'm asking you a lot of questions, girl. But this, but serious, I want to know. What do you feel about my philosophy about courage? I mean, do you believe in courage? I mean, do you really believe in that? Do you believe that it's about courage and not about self-esteem? Are they one and the same? Okay, girl, I'm not going to keep asking you questions. I get it. I get it. But, like I said, give y'all support to our girl, Kareem, and to the other young ladies who have written me. Can you please write me again? And again, put in the subject line, put love letters. So, I know that I, number one, can read your letter on air, and also... I can say your name because I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be saying your name and then you be like, Joy, um, I don't appreciate that. You know, can you not do that? Because I respect you. You know, if you don't want me to do it, I won't. But I just feel like it takes a village and it takes a village to help a sister out. Sometimes I will have a good point of view and sometimes I may not have the best. Some of the other girls... They may have better points of view than me. But one thing about it is that I'm giving it to you from the heart, okay? Girl, we threw our thing, right? This lip gloss is from Morphe. It's called Famous. These lashes that I'm wearing are from um, Cherry. Is it Cherry Blossom or what is it called? Hold on a minute. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom, Blossom number 907. Okay. I typically wear only two types of lashes. Cherry Blossom number 907. Or a kiss lash called um, Brazier. Kiss lashes in Brazier or Cherry Blossom 3 lashes for a dollar, 907s that I get in a bulk, probably 20 pairs at a time from Amazon. Okay, so y'all head on over there and get y'all some lashes. This liner is really what I use for my eyebrows as well as my lips, and it is Milani's Easy Brow. Um, pencil in dark brown this pencil is like ten dollars but it lasts forever and it's something that i buy over and over and over again just in case you guys wanted to know um if you guys want more makeup tutorials and get ready with me and all of that y'all let me know down there in the comments but most importantly i want karina to feel supported and i know that you ladies will support her and, you know, you will let her know what she needs to do. So, please get down in the comments. I know I done said that 10 times, but I'm serious. Get down in the comments. Let our love know that we support her. Let her know that she's not alone. And you guys love up on her a little bit. Um, if you have an idea for another video, then definitely get down in the comments and let me know that. Um, my email again will be in the description box so you guys can get in there and get all the information that you need. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at Miss Plus Some More, on Facebook at Miss Plus Some More, and please subscribe uh, to the A Team because listen, we love you and we appreciate you over here, and you will always have a safe space. Thank you so much for all of my pretty girls. I really appreciate you. And mwah, kisses to Karina. Don't forget to go over there and get your dossier perfume. You guys, that perfume really smells good and I really like it a lot. Um, it is something that when I run out of it, 
I definitely will repurchase. You know, I'm keeping it real with y'all as far as that is concerned. Let me know how you feel about this look. Let me see if you can see. Y'all know I love my scarves. I'm doing my hair on another occasion, girl. But here is my... Just my regular everyday beat, girl. Regular everyday. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> but listen, beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I want to know. Hello. And remember, if you can't stand and see me succeed, girl, lay on the floor. Bye, beautiful. See you later.